how much has sabermetrics how how much has data changed scouting player development side fundamentally changed it but not totally altered it so that it's the only thing that you look at and consider so i look at it like when you look at the weather you can look out and be like oh it looks hot sun's out like okay it's probably hot or you like pull up your phone you have a thermometer that says oh no it's actually 69 degrees and it's like clear skies and like it's the same thing and that's how i view uh, data and analytics like it's it's an explanation of what's happening right every team has like a kinetrax for example now which is it's bio, biomechanical markers and based on how your body is firing the velocities that you know the how quickly you're turning your hip uh and sequencing your the kinetic chain to then translate to your hands being fast all the way down to field tracking stuff like how fast are you running how fast is the ball coming out of your hand now the teams like today in 2025 and i've heard this from many working in the game we've kind of like maxed out our ability to leverage that data into the game because you can prioritize data you can know the numbers you can have industry leading tech but the game is still played by human beings with hearts and with minds you get this like polarity of of the best teams are the ones that can actually simplify and synthesize the advanced information that they are doing and calculating and chew it all the way down to a few nuggets that a player could then use.